Hello, hello. Look at you all there sitting in chat with your doodads and your hickwaddles and your and your flingle dimbuses. If it isn't time for another episode of We Am's Goblins. Uh, hey, goblins, you want to say hi to the people joining us from home? Hi. 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 Perfect. Perfect. I'm Newt. Yes, thank, thank you. And I'm and, Snooty. And, and that one's Desi. Yeah, yeah, I'm Desi. And I'm Newt. Good. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that one's Newt. And that's Newt. And yeah, that and one's Newt. And I'm Snooty. Uh, uh, and, and that's Desi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's Snooty. Uh, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Desi. Yeah. Don't put the eyebrows on already. Yeah, no, too early for eyebrows. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> we didn't even start. Yeah, yeah, it just started. You can't put <laughs> eyebrows on. Yeah, yeah, God. forbidden. God damn it. <laughs> All right, well. That's Snooney. Settle down. All right, now. That now one's we, new. We've all got. Fuck out, god damn it. Anyways, hey everybody, welcome. It's so good to see you all. Uh, make sure that you follow all these wonderful people who are involved in this project, if you could, for me, pretty please. And uh, if you guys want to watch the previous archives of our sessions and catch up on the kind of shit that's been going on down here, you can more than happily do so at the YouTube link that is provided in the Twitch there. Um, otherwise, we are happy to have you all here and looking forward to now finalizing the session where uh, Desi had made a proposition to test a prototype anti deddy bomb um, and they had gone to see the Gravekeeper um, because he might be able to facilitate them with a corpse to use as a tester against these ghouls. So that's going to be fun and I'm sure won't raise some questions, but with that all said, just a little heads up to everybody, if you guys are enjoying the show and like the kind of the shenanigans we get up to, uh, the Goblin Bullshit Pool is how we process monetary compensation. So anytime you guys contribute a grand total of $10 or more in subs, bits, and donations, then we add uh, the uh, the totals to the Goblin Bullshit to Pool. Um, I haven't figured out how to parse it across all of our streams yet, unfortunately. So for the time being, it will only count for contributions that are happening on uh, Effie's stream, but to those of you joining us from Jasmine's stream, hello, welcome, and we love and appreciate you, and hope you're having a wonderful night as well. And uh, yeah, uh, if you guys want to make sure that uh, you check out uh, both streams at the same time, you are more than welcome to do so either through uh, tuning into the direct links, Effie the Cat and Jasminian Devils, or um, use your imagination and pretend you're everywhere all at once, and that omnipotence has finally become yours to command. But with all those options for, for you out of the way, goblins, are you guys ready to get back into the action today? Yeah, 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 But you, you asked. Yep, no, I did. Yep. You did ask, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did ask, you did ask, you did ask. I did. Yeah, it was there for that. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I, I, I was, I was here for this. Uh, uh. I'm actually gonna require you to go back to previous videos on um YouTube and uh, add me uh into it, saying I'm not here. Okay. okay. So, uh, are are you asking for a sort of director commentary, like retroactively added to the videos, just mm -hmm, with, like, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I think we can facilitate that. Oh, <laughs> they might, I don't want. I don't want the viewers to get confused. You know what? That's, uh, that's very yeah, good of you. Yeah. That's, that's you know, yeah, yeah. All right, good. Well, well. With that said and done, as I go ahead and queue up this ambient cemetery noise, uh, we return once more to the town of Sandpoint. I will hide the goblin's image here, and uh, that uh, that that probably should be smoked by now. If I'm being honest, the, uh, the fire that consumed the goblin squash stables and some of the buildings adjacent to it. But for now, we return to the lovely uh, town of Sandpoint, where the last time we saw the three of you, you had made your first connections within the chapel of, uh, or the cathedral of Sandpoint. 
and uh, are now kind of working together to actively promote your uh, reliability to the town as problem solvers who can get endorsements from signatures that verify that you are indeed uh, worthy of holding citizenry in this place. Because Sandpoint has a very mixed history with goblins, so they are... Uh, they're still very tentative about your involvement with that process, but for the time being, you guys are pursuing options to hopefully better improve the reputation of goblins everywhere so that there can be more people involved in the going-ons of this location. And to that effect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transition us over to the Boneyard. And then we can <gasps> see what is going on. So, let me go ahead and zoom in there, and I can unpause the game, and I'm just going to make sure that a couple of things are muted to make sure that we are not getting some problems. Oh my uh, god, he is really ugly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? He's hot. He's hot by goblin standards. That's yeah, right. by our standards, we find him uh, super hmm. fucking attractive. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so there we go. Let me bring that up for you all. <laughs> oh goodness gracious uh, do you know that Oops. you are the Adonis of the Goblin Village <laughs> Goblin Adonis <laughs> oh that's an experience alright so uh, yeah if you guys direct your attention to the screen now you can see mm -hmm. that uh, Naffer the uh, in, pre in the previous session our three goblins had met Naffer um Full name Naffer Vosk, uh, who is kind of like the groundskeeper slash gravekeeper of the Cathedral of Sandpoint. He tends to all of the upkeep and make sure that the bells are correctly rung at the right times and ensures that people are placed in their resting places and keeps things very clean and efficient. And uh, he also happens to be, to some, um, rather hard on the eyes with some elements of deformity to him. That makes him a little bit harder to interact with for others. But he did seem a very amenable fellow the last time that you encountered him. And uh, now, as you had all agreed to follow him into his kind of little gravekeeper's prep hut, uh, as you enter into this small kind of musty shed, you can tell that it's not exactly somewhere that he sleeps, but he does keep a few odds and ends in here that help facilitate him throughout the day. And one of those is a small tea set that he kind of wanders over to and starts preparing and starts getting together a, a, a pretty pleasant smelling kind of brew. And uh, it seems like he's has a little bit of a hint of being prepared for company at all times for one reason or another, because there's actually six cups next to his little kettle that he has set up in this space. So as he heats that up and gets ready to serve the hot water with a very small kind of localized heating fire and uh, getting prepared with the teas, he looks over his shoulder at all of you and goes, Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think a lot of people really are all that fond of goblins around these parts, yes? Wait, wait I thought you were naffers. Ah. <laughs> uh. Are you wrong or not for us now? I'm just gonna leave these on for this encounter. <laughs> um. <laughs> God damn you, Jasmine. Um. <laughs> he what? Turns... She's asking a real question. Yep, yep, no, it's perfectly fine. He takes a moment to stop and think about what you just said and then chuckles to himself and then says, <laughs> My dear, I am Nafa. And, uh, this is my graveyard that I tend to. So, I, I think that it's probably best to assume that any interactions I speak of that refer to something that might sound like other than my name, you can just assume I'm Naffer in all those instances, okay? Oh, I'm new. That's Nudie. And that's Desi. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that's new. Uh, yeah, and, and that's this is new tea. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, Desi's real smart. She's like genius. 
Yeah, yeah, Desi has big Brian. Oh, uh, uh, the biggest I mean, Brian. Uh, uh, I just got a pretty big Brian. I I was told that my head predominantly school. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, but that means it no breaks. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 I was I was I was best rock yeah, yeah. breaker in the whole village. Whoa. Whoa, that's so that, cool. Yeah, that's real cool. You didn't even have to use bopping and stick. Just use <gasps> head. Whoa, Whoa, that's big strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. The strength of your ignorance is powerful. <laughs> Nafer just sits there for a while watching this encounter. Fascinated by the social proclivities of goblins when encountering one another. And uh, he just kind of folds his hands in sort of like a clasping motion and looks rather bemusedly at all of you and goes, Have any of you had any uh, tea before? Oh, 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 Dentist gave us tea once, I think. Yeah, 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 she made us tea. <laughs> no, but... But but Desi Desi's had tea before by uh, by by uh Dima Dima Dim 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 Tim Tim. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, tea, tea is, is, is hot water with leaf. The only thing that Tim Timatone has ever concocted is fuck me with jail. Uh and tea, yeah. Yeah, and, and tea, pretty sure. If uh -huh. tea is hot water in leaf, yeah. I've had swamp water. Yeah, yeah, uh, no, it's it's uh, tea, leaves, and water uh, with hot, hot, and and then milk and sugar. But, but swamp, swamp water has tea, right? It's yeah. leaves and hot water. Yeah, 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 but, like, more hot water. It has to be specifically, yeah. Oh. Uh. Uh, then I have not have tea. Yeah, yeah. No. This first time. Uh -huh. <laughs> what the fuck? Thanks for the gift sub to new titties. Um, so Napper is yeah, still... The... <laughs> for those of you at home who haven't quite gotten a sense of the token, I figure I should put him up on screen as well if you guys want to see what he looks like. He, uh... He doesn't seem to be very well suited to maintaining much hair on his head or face, um, and has a very distended, kind of warped back due to a long-standing injury of some kind, and he walks with a bit of a gait to him. So, uh, he's just kind of, despite this appearance, he has a very warm demeanor and is, is quite bemused at their interactions with him. And, uh, as he's just watching this, like, he's, he's taking, like, a very... What's the word I'm looking for? The not sociological, but uh, anthrop. He has a an anthropological uh, element of study to his just observation of your interactions, and is eventually he just kind of just sits there and lets you guys get your conversations out of the way before he just sort of laughs a little bit to himself and turns around and starts pouring some cups of tea, and uh, he takes two of them over towards Desi and Newt. And he stops in front of Newt and he says, Have you, um, have you ever had any tea, Newt? No, just swamp water. Hmm. You ever... Which is not tea, I'm told. Well, it, it could be if you boil it enough. And, 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 and Desi's smart. So if Desi says it's not true, then it's not true. Tessie, do you want to weigh in on that opinion? Yeah, no. Water, even if have leaf in it, is not exactly tea. No. Uh, oh. This property. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Huber, for increasing the goblin bullshit pool by five. <laughs> We greatly appreciate that, and thank you very much. We are now at 26 Goblin Bullshit Points, so Goblins, you are more than welcome to use those however you wish for any stupid reason. But, continuing onwards, does he? Did someone say stupid reason? Hi. Yeah, no, 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 this, this tea, you, yeah, 
Never had tea before. This first time. Yeah. <laughs> if Desi says I never had tea before, I never had tea before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He nods and leans down and hands you a cup. It's a small kind of like metal cup. Pretty worn and dented. Doesn't look anything special, but uh, the scent in your nose is pretty pretty pleasing compared to, I imagine, many things you've inhaled, Newt. So what do you want to do with this cup of, of tea? Uh, she'll grab it and then she'll like look over to Snooty and like put her pinky way out because Snooty had told her to put your pinky out. And then like look at Snooty waiting for like approval before she takes another step. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she, Snooty just holds up Pinky and starts nodding, like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then Newt will just drink the whole thing in one go. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> before he has the chance to be, like, blow on it or uh, warn yeah. you, uh, you, you feel boiling hot liquid go down your throat, Newt. She'll uh, just kind of sit there and just be like, "This is normal. It's like it's like hot swing sp spring in swamp." <laughs> okay, but, uh, but better uh... tasting. <laughs> Naffer is going to take like a moment to like look at you like, <laughs> mm. and then just pass over another cup to Desi <laughs> and be like, "Here you are." Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Desi's just gonna start blowing on it for a little bit, and then she's gonna take a tiny sip. Um, if you want to, you can give me another society roll to see if you're familiar with the, like, flavor. Uh... You, uh, this, this tastes to you like kind of a, uh, a green tea. Like, it has a very green tea taste to it and, and, and feel, so you are, uh, you have probably had it before and it's a familiar sensation to you and brings back a, a small flickering of memory. Ah, uh, yes, I see a boat and balloons and a party and... His giant fucking hat and his dumb mustache. I'm gonna rip it off his mane. Uh, yeah, no, wonderful tea, thank you. <laughs> he walks How back. How caffeinated there. is this tea? <clears throat> so, sorry, what? How caffeinated is the tea? Um, I suppose whatever a regular green tea would kind of imply it affecting to a small goblin, I, I guess. Okay. Um, caffeinated do you want the effect to have on, him, on Newt? Oh, Newt's never had caffeine, so that's why I was asking. All right, well, then she's probably a little bit more buzzed up. Green tea doesn't have caffeine in it. Okay, well, then she's not buzzed up. Okay, that's why I was asking. Thank you. I'm not well up this, on my teas. Well, I don't, I don't know. This was a fantasy tea. It could be anything. Oh, think. right. Yeah, know. actually, it's cocaine. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Anyways, no, it's... I don't oh understand. God. You you told me you were so big of a fan of tea. That's why you've got two of them. You got tea teas. Always on the brain. Always talking about them. I thought you just liked a giant sachet of black tea. You should know this stuff. Just fucking English tea, London fog, breakfast tea. Irish breakfast tea is really good. You know, chai tea. Uh 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 uh. Uh, see, if you're saying chai tea, you're just saying titty. I know what I, I know. <laughs> Ash got it. Ash is too smart. <laughs> this joke has been in my family for generations. <laughs> Kill and take those fucking eyebrows off, please. <laughs> <laughs> well. And he turns around and also brings a cup over to Snooty, handing it out, out to her. Snooty, how do you want to receive the green tea? She uh, holds out one hand and the other to, if it has a little little plate or anything like that for the cup, she makes sure that it's all that. And she, she's like, I watch so many uh, pretty human ladies do this. 
and she pinky out very soft and then very 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 quiet slurp of the tea <laughs> Nat for nonsense had it in sort of an approving like oh <laughs> reaction and says uh uh, something to the effect of, you know, very demure, my lady. I don't know what that means, but thank you. He chuckles to himself and turns around to see what is Newt doing. I was waiting for you to notice. Um, Newt goes over and looks at the thing where the tea is. Okay. Is it just like a, a bag of dried leaf? Well, it's on a shelf that, to a normal person about his height, would be easily accessible, but to you is a little bit of a jump, so... Oh, wait. He was trying to get more tea. Hold on, but because of your floating, technically you could go up just a little bit and get to it. So I would say that you for briefly facilitate floating upwards a little, get what you want to look at, and then come back down to the right level. Yeah, yeah. And then, then Newt just dumps a bunch of tea into a cup and pours hot water in it and just okay. grabs it and, wa and walks back over. All right, so you you overload the, the cup with a, a significant amount of tea leaves. <laughs> yeah. And he just and kind she, of... Oh, go ahead. And she just sits there, and this time she, like, starts blowing up, mimicking what, what Snooty did, and like but, like, not as good, and just, like, trying to fit in. <laughs> All right, so you're making a ham-fisted attempt at, uh, at at proper societal uh, consumption of of goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fair. Cause she she felt she felt dumb when she just drank it all and no one else did. <laughs> so she wanted to she wanted to pretend it didn't happen and and go for a second try. So Naver is very bemused by this interaction, and already you can tell that it's the most interesting thing that was probably happened to him in weeks. And uh, as you're all enjoying your tea, he takes the cup for himself that he poured and reclines on a pile of boxes over in the corner, just kind of taking a moment to study you all as you sip your teas and get a little bit comfortable where you can in this sort of condensed broom closet of a space. Um, and to those of you wondering in chat why I said Newt hovers, Newt floats one foot above the ground at all times, but has very weird ways of interacting with physics despite that, so just for those of you who wanted to be in the know. Um, and if you're curious about what that looks like as well, I can go ahead and just pop her up on the screen real quick there, and we can uh, basically show you that... Uh, uh, whoop, there you go, see? The the hair acts as the base, but her feet are usually about that high off the ground, so... Ooh, floating goblin! Ooh. There you go. Ooh. So, so that... <laughs> Oh no! Oh no, ghost! <laughs> um, alright, yeah, so Naffer, Naffer leans against the, the boxes watching you all and pauses for a minute as you all kind of like look around and getting comfortable and getting into whatever shenanigans you have in mind before he just kind of speaks up and says, So, I'm a little hazy on the exact nature of what you're... what, what you're looking... Um, or, fuck, I can't really remember the accent I gave him, so I'm just going to kind of dial it into something else. Um, and he just kind of... Do you have elf hand? What, what is that, Newt? Oh, oh yeah. Do, yeah, yeah. Do you have elf hand? Oh, the hand of an elf. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh. Oh. Well, well, well I, 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 I suppose I could maybe see if there's any around, but why do you need the hand of an elf, exactly? Uh, uh, well, uh, it, like, I was told to uh, come talk to you because uh, uh, I have requirements for eliminating the ghouls. Uh, uh. Mm-hmm. You know what I've been yeah, able to... Yeah piece together so far has been that um, you need my assistance in making use of what I can offer you to help deal with the ghoul problem so tell you what and he sets his tea down and crosses his arms and leans back 
Why don't you go ahead and explain to me in detail the plan you have in mind to help me rid the cemetery of our ghoul problem, and uh, if it's good enough, I'll definitely make sure that an elf hand is in your hands. Oh, okay, um, okay. so here is the deal. So I have started with a ceramic base that is going to be the shell of the bomb. Uh, the, the inside is going to be in contact uh, with a uh, inner glass jar uh, surrounded by fluid, which is holy water. And in the central core of uh, the bomb uh, is going to be uh, a concentrated alchemist fire. Uh, and then what's going to happen is I have a drop system fed by gravity that will smash the alchemist fire and then reacts with the water to create a large amount of pressure suddenly as the holy water converts into steam uh, and uh, explodes the bomb into holy shrapnel uh, with blessed metal fillings and then exudes uh, smoke that has been blessed uh, throughout the warrens. Uh, but I need to do a test first. And uh, I sort of need bait. So I need elf hand and, uh, you know, preferably a body that's fresh that I can put out. Because uh, I'm going to drop a bomb from tree uh, onto ghouls what they eat. <laughs> Nafford looks a little confused at this. The specific details of the mechanisms, but he kind of understands the general gist of what you're trying to put forward. And yeah. as he looks a little bit thoughtful, watching Newt as she just drifts from window to window, looking out at the graveyard, um, <laughs> he, uh, he he takes he takes a moment to kind of process this this idea and goes. So, what I'm hearing you're in need of is something to bait the ghouls with when night comes, so that they're more amenable to your test. Yeah, I want to put it in box, so they have to try to dig into it. Uh, and then I want to drop bomb on top. Hmm. Well, not the worst plan I've heard. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he, like, adjusts a little bit to... You can tell that there's a pain in his back as he moves a little awkwardly and just goes... Oh... Uh, I will be entirely honest with you. I don't think that I'm necessarily comfortable with explosives going off in my graveyard. So if we could keep uh, wherever you're testing it to somewhere that is uh, a little farther away from the mausoleums and the graves themselves, I suppose we could uh, facilitate such a test. I'm sure that you'd probably be looking for some corpses to use in the process of this, uh, testing, yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Elf, uh, elf corpse tastes best to gloss. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, well, that's a deception roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Oh, is it? Is yeah. it? Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> he um, he looks a little little surprised to have learned this knowledge, but he seems that it seems in your dazzling attempts to explain your your uh, your uh, weapon of choice, he seems to take it at face value and nods and says, "Well, uh, from my own experiences with ghouls, I believe that." That is a new one to me, but if you say that elves are a greater appeal to them, then I'm not going to challenge you on it. However, there is the small matter of it being generally considered a poor choice of action to voluntarily give the remains of the recently deceased over to these creatures, even if it is uh, for the downfall. Uh, okay, so you're going to tell me, oh, people very picky about dead people. Let's leave them in ground so they can be snack. Mm, well, I'm not digging anyone up. 
That's not going to be happening. But we do have the odd unnamed individual who passes without anyone claiming for their belongings or the rights to their inheritance that uh, do get put into storage. And if I'm being entirely honest, there has been a recent strain of unfortunate demises. And so I do have a corpse on hand of somebody who would not be missed if we were to use it uh, set for burial actually tomorrow. I would feel probably a little more comfortable, however, if um, we could make this work with livestock. Uh, yeah, so, okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. <clears throat> Sir, what you have to understand is there's a delicate equipment system uh, here. You have food, which is for the ghouls. Now, the ghouls are not going to leave until there's a food problem. Now, people are dying every day, but the more ghouls that are longer here, the more ghouls you're going to have. It's going to be a ghoul problem. Now, when the food runs out and they have to hunt, do you think the people are going to care if a person is used that is already dead? Or do you think that they are going to be angry? Give me a persuasion or diplomacy. Couple of cup. Okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what comes of the goblin bullshit. Any creature within five feet of the goblin who called for bullshit is now magnetically attracted to the goblin for an hour. No! <laughs> so immediately, Newt and Snooty, you both feel yourselves whoop, pulled towards Deadly. <laughs> My tea. She's holding on to the teacup for dear life because she does not want to break it and she doesn't want it to fling everywhere. <laughs> I'll, roll. Was... Ah. I'll roll for his his will. Alright. <laughs> well, um, as the three of you are like awkwardly sandwiched together on top of each other as Desi becomes <laughs> suddenly magnetic for no real apparent reason... Naffer just kind of, he's, he's about to say something more in the lines of, like, I guess what you're saying makes sense. And he just stops and watches the three of you smash into each other, kind of struggling, and goes, Is this some, is this some strange kind of goblin friendship thing? It's some goblin bullshit! It is some goblin bullshit! Ever since we get to this town, we've been having lots of goblin weird magic thing happened and this uh, town is to blame. I I mean don't some of don't like all things especially when stuff tall elbow elbow no no elbow inside move elbow out No no please move your um, move your foot you're sideways Wait, ow, 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 that's my foot. Ow, 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 ow,
De Desi, I like you and your new friend, but this this is this is a bit much. Well, how do you think I feel? I am sandwiched in middle. I'm not even top slice. <laughs> I just want to drink my tea. Uh, sorry, the tea. Uh, since Newt is floating, Newt's just gonna like kind of be stuck to the side of like Desi's head, but like reclined and just floating and just sitting there sipping tea. <laughs> <laughs> Never is very confused at this point. And uh, while trying to parse what's happening here, he just kind of goes, well, I, I I, guess he's a little bit, like, freaked out, too, because he doesn't really know what exactly this is, this is happening here. Because as far as it looks like to him, you're, like, magically stuck to Desi, the two of you. And he, he definitely steps backwards, so it's like, whatever is happening here doesn't affect him. Uh, and he just kind of goes, oh, okay, well, t t t tell, tell you what. I'll get you one of the unclaimed corpses, and we can start setting that up for tonight. As long as you promise me you won't tell anyone what we did to facilitate this test, okay? Well, why, why would I tell people? That, that just sounds like, hi, do you want to be angry? I tell you, ow, ow. I tell you, I tell you, I used your dead people. Yeah, that go over real well in Goblin Court. Can, can yeah. you have more tea? I'll start holding out, like, pop, empty cup. <laughs> yeah, can uh, I have more tea too? While I'm stuck to Desi, just, like, reaching as far out, like, like, grasping with the cup yeah. in hand. Yeah. Nefer is going to regard the request with like the impetus to move away a bit further and he says oh i think i've run out of tea for the time being i can get some more later but looking around in this small space realizing that like if he gets any closer to you guys this might be his fate as well he just gestures to the door and says uh, maybe, maybe if, if you'd be willing to just head on outside into the open whatever's happening to you will be um Resolved. Need still reaching for him, going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna and shove on new key. She's up. like in my face. Distracts. <laughs> 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 There's like an oh awkward... my god! Yeah. He's what, dead. What? Why is the tea gone? I can't believe you suffocated Desi. Newt. <laughs> Newt trying to pull away to get more tea. <laughs> so you, you pull yourself away from Desi's face with the empty cup, and Napper has a brief moment of like, oh god, it's gonna happen, and then looks at you as you just float over to him like with your cup out, like more tea, please, and he's just kind of like. <laughs> uh, I thought I was going to die with goblin but unfazed. <laughs> My tea, please. Napper just like gingerly takes the cup out of your hand and prepares another cup of tea and, and hands it. Every time he sets it back, Newt moves closer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, Snooty, are you just resigned to staying stuck to Desi for the time being, or...? I'm gonna try one more time, but right. otherwise, if that if that's the case, she's gonna find a safe place to put her cup down and just drag Desi outside. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is exactly what's happening. I want to yeah. try one more time. Uh, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna roll like a seven. Ah, okay, you know what, I just gotta go with though. I almost died. Ah. All right, so the two of you God, start uh, to okay. go outside, out into the open air. Uh, yeah. Um, and as you do so, you can see yourselves entering into a much larger space where there is a uh, rows upon rows of buried corpses with headstones, um, some very light lanterns that have uh, candles in them that are normally illuminated in the evening um, or the late afternoon. 
There is a couple of buildings that look like they might serve as more advanced crypts or mausoleums uh, with various levels of decay on them. And then what looks to be the start of a new plot of spaces um, to be added. And, and a very small collection of pawns that are not, you know, very all that noteworthy. So as you come out into the open space here, uh, Naffer <laughs> he takes the time to just very carefully make sure that Newt does not have a, a magnetic properties by just like reaching out and poking her a little bit. Uh, and then, uh, 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 why, why? Uh, my my apologies. I just I, I just wanted to make sure that you weren't afflicted with whatever is affecting your friends there at the moment. No, I'm not. I'm not a flippid. I'm not, not a flippid. <laughs> just, just, gonna, just gonna let these sit here for a minute. Why, why, how, why eyebrows? <laughs> because why not eyebrows? Naffer takes a moment to process this and he just kind of sighs and Dips his head down and goes, oh, oh, all right, well, well, there's another problem in the way here that I need to address, so uh, why don't we meet your friends outside and hopefully they'll stay far enough away from us that whatever's afflicting them will not bring us into it. While, while they were talking, Snooty was slowly bringing Desi over to this water to just jump in to see if that will, like, maybe they're stuck with, like, glue or something. We need to go in! Could I try to use a bird something to take my pack off before I jump in the water? You can use the Athletics or acrobatics, whatever appeals to you the most in that regard. I'll be, gosh, I'll take, I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah, you manage to fling parts of your like anything that you want to keep dry for reasons both practical and personal. You manage to like you see that Snooty is de like determined to haul your ass into this water, and you're getting like halfway there when you realize, okay, now's the time to make sure that there's some contingencies in place. So you start flinging off your pack and take off a couple of other things and then Snooty just kind of yeets herself into the water pulling you in with her. Alright, I'm gonna try to pull myself away now that I've gotten this in the water. Yeah! <laughs> oh no. This is going to set the precedent that every time this happens in the future, Snooty will think that it's time to jump no. in the nearest fucking pool In the pool nearest of body of water. Mm -hmm. Snooty, no. Snooty triumphantly and soaked to the bone gets out of the water, like trudging through it, and puts her hands on her hips and goes, Snooty is big, Brian. I got you off of me. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you big Brian got off. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you you so could close. just drink. You should have just drank more tea. It got me disconnected. No, see, so no, any type of water stuff make make this go away. Oh, so it, it was happen, it was the hot water. It was all the hot uh, water I consumed. Uh huh. See all all the water. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, we need lots of water Brian. when this happens. Uh -huh, Beauty uh -huh. have big Brian. Uh, big is Brian. Big, yeah. Brian. Have big Brian. She is like getting massive big ego, big uh, head moment right now by all of this, uh, and she's just like, mm hmm, mm hmm. That me? Mm hmm. Uh -huh. I'm actually very proud of you. That was a good scientific process. You had theory tested, theory theory proved correct. So uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. good job. I give I give recognition of Big Brian, uh -huh. but I am now wet and cold. Just uh, means this you need more tea. Uh, yeah, more uh. tea, please. Uh -huh. mm, yeah. It's gonna oh. sit her like down on the ground and then jump and cannonball in next to Dizzy. <laughs> Okay, cool. So <laughs> <as> you... 
Uh, so as you jump into the water, which looks really weird because you like float leap into the the water, but as if you had like actually jumped off a platform. Oh, Desi, are you gonna try to pry Newt off of you? Is she? No, I'm trying to dive out of the way. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> All right. Well, do you want to keep that roll before I tell you what happens? Yeah, I'm gonna keep that roll. Oh, damn it, Eric! It's not gonna be a high score for you to just be like, yeah, like yeet the hell out of the way of Newt, but she just dives into the water head first, soaking both you and Newt. Tea. Um, and Desi, you ma narrowly managed to jump out of the way enough to be like, oh, good, I'm I'm not getting magnetically magnetically attracted to this other goblin again. Um, so, what, how would you guys like to proceed now? Newt just wanted to be included. Uh, As Newt floats, Newt, like, Newt, like is, looks is, like the is, normal is, floating, is, but in water. Uh, I'm going to get out water. I'm just gonna, she's going to just start wringing out her clothes. <laughs> All but right. he does like the dog shake thing and gets like all of the water off of her. <laughs> Newt, are you still enjoying the water or are you going to get out of it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Newt, Newt, Newt's just going to kind of chill in the water. Um. Alright, so as you're kind of I don't even want to think about the... Is it fair to say that Newt might not actually know how to swim, but has never had to deal with the issue of drowning before? <laughs> uh, no, Newt would know how to swim because he grew up in swamp, but um, hasn't swam in a long time since gotcha. Lodi happened. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> and now they just kind of like, they don't have to think about swimming anymore. It just kind of happens. Goodness gracious. All right. So as <laughs> this is all going on, Napper just kind of looks at you all, and uh, he's like, as Desney comes out of the water, he also just, like, keeping his distance a bit. And he just says, um, well, I'm glad I could provide a bath for you all here, but uh, there's another problem that I need a little help with. You see, the ghouls are quite crafty, and I'm not entirely sure where they've been coming in from and exactly where it might be best to set things up for. So, while I go grab that um, <clears throat> bait from the morgue, I think that uh, if you would be willing to take a look around the graveyard and see if you can perhaps find any example of uh, where they might be coming in from, I, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, while he's saying that, Newt will reach down and pick up one of the rocks on the path and look under it, and then look up at him, and then, like, wait to see if he thinks that's a good spot to look. <laughs> he thinks something, but it's definitely not along the left same lines as your thoughts. <laughs> what about you, Snooty? Do you have a reaction to being said and told that? She, uh, she just kind of does, like, big brain nod. Because she still thinks she is, like, super smart, and then she goes... Don't worry, we are on the case. We will figure this out. We and she kind of does like a little, a little like really, really awful sloop. <laughs> Not really understanding it because she's seen maybe like a knight or two do it, or some sort of like soldier e type person do that. She goes, "Come on, guys, let's go and find where these gross things live." Whoa! And she like starts darting off this direction. Oh, okay, fine. Newt will slowly put rock down and then be like, wave, uh, like, wave excitedly at uh, Naffers and then start following Snooty. I have a... Have an idea. Desi, you moved into a five-foot radius of Newt. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh-oh. Why you do this? Ah, ah, I didn't do. Ah, I didn't. Uh, uh, Newt will start going towards the water again. <laughs> Try to no, throw no, stuff no, into water. No, no, no. 
Oh, no. Dude, no, Desi's gonna grab the ground. Uh, what She's I mean? grabbing under the road. Uh, can make, you sh- make an athletics, athletics test if you want to talk a war here. All right. Alright. Nope, you're it's still stuck working. together. It's not working! <laughs> Get off of the one be water no more! What? It worked! <laughs> <laughs> no, the game you could give back that you stay wait. No. It <laughs> worked. <laughs> 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 he runs for like a hug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mag, 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 I'm going to get backpack. You stay there. You you stay. You stay. No. No. You stay. Stay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Careful. Uh. Napper is not entirely instilled with confidence on the continuation of this as he turns around (laughs) to head back towards the cathedral, (laughs) (laughs) leaving the area. To head towards the building's morgue. So as he leaves the graveyard, leaving the three of you here on your own for the time being, um, what would you guys like to do? I'm going to take out my faint uh, pair of shears, put them in my mouth, and then uh, turn into a goblin dog and then run around to dry myself off. I'm just going to I'm just gonna follow Snooty, but not like close to Snooty, because Snooty's like, mag, 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 <laughs> Newt's like audibly saying Mag Mebit as she's like reminding herself not to get too close to Snooty. <laughs> All right. Okay. Snooty, what's your plan of action here, uh, Super Sleuth? Snooty's going to go right here and just going to start looking for scratch marks on the doors, on the walls, mm-hmm. on the ground. That's fair. That's entirely fair. Desi, are you going to stay in goblin dog form for the most part as you just go zipping along? Uh, yeah. Just trying to get dry. Yeah. And testing hypotenuse. Did, did uh, Snooty uh, say anything to Newt or just start like looking around for stuff? She, she immediately goes, let's look for clues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since Newt doesn't know what clues is, Newt's just going to start wandering around looking at stuff, like picking up rocks, mimicking what Snooty's doing. <laughs> okay, so looking at Snooty, seeing what Snooty's doing, and then mimicking it. Because she doesn't know what to look for. <laughs> Alright, well, Snooty, you can give me... Um... Yes, the... Perception? Okay. That's the, the best I can ask from you here. So yeah, give me a perception roll, please. Alright, alright, cool. Uh, Newt, can you give me a perception roll with uh, taking the lowest result, please? So there's a... Uh, if you go to your sheet, yeah. it's on the main left side, and it says perception. You'd hit that, and you would do uh, keep lower. Um, Wait, I just... Uh, it says perception. Yep. Wait, where? So you double click on your sheet. And oh, on the see, left. I see, I see it, I see yeah. it. And then. And then you keep said lower. take. Keep lower. Are you having fun, Desi? I, I see it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Damn, that's one perceptive ass fucking goblin. Uh, you know what? I think now's a good time to factor in part of the mechanics we had talked about, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was gonna say that this seems like a moment for the mechanics to work. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it in chat, fans, uh, for that one. Uh, can I get an exclamation mark D20 from chat? to see the uh, varying degree of impact of a certain thing that I won't reveal to anybody. 
So if you just do exclamation mark D20, there you go. All right, cool, 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 cool. I love it. Um, Snooty, as you go looking around, some of the things you can take note of is on the larger structures here. There are kind of like um, barred doors that enter into these spaces, and it looks like there's kind of sarcophagi and remains beyond them. Um, however, they're all very tightly locked. They have, um, they have like, very heavy iron locks on them and chains, and it's like somebody has gone through the effort of making sure that it is incredibly difficult to get into any of these spaces. So somebody with the talent of being able to perhaps pick locks might be able to undo these and get access inside these places and maybe make a big use of whatever they find inside, but... What? Yes? Effie what? Yes. I, uh, i just like to let you know that, uh, in this form, I have thievery. So technically, I am a dog burglar. What? <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> All right, well, yes, yeah, Snooty, as you go around and check these locks, you can see that they're not very super, like, um easy to open the doors have been what like i well they've they've been they've been wedged in places that make it very hard to just jiggle them and and uh they're very thick heavy doors so um you well, can kind of that's... see into them through slots but uh overall it's like very much um, so meant to be denying you access but but doors don't jiggle jiggle they fold <laughs> um Anyways, Newt, for your end of things, um, as you're looking around, uh, bas <laughs> basically keeping your eye out for uh, for anything that might regard a access point into the space, um, there is sort of like a. You're, you're, are, were, were you before I give you the full results? Were you trying to stay around this area? Um, particularly, or um, did you not really, like, have a specific place you were looking? Uh, N Newt was just mimicking what Snooty was doing. So whatever Snooty's doing, Newt will mimic it somewhere around where Snooty is. Alright. So as you're going through and doing that and taking, like, a, a very close look at some of these spaces, uh, it looks like... Some of these look places look like they've been buried with, um interesting items shall we say like there's a there's very different approaches to the burial traditions of some of these spots and at one of them you can definitely kind of make out the details of like oh hey this place looks interesting there's like a cool this one specifically over here as you come to it uh you can make out the details that like oh there's some interesting things that seem to be sitting atop this kind of um what would these be called? They're, they're not exactly tombstones. They're like... Uh... Burial slabs? Sure, that works for me. Uh, but the slab that this corpse is on looks like it might have some like very dusty old family artifacts that are strewn over it. And as you come over to the door um, and are like, hmm, this seems interesting, and maybe inside there is uh, something that might facilitate interaction with said ghouls, um... Would it be safe to say that you would have tried to access the interior of the space, or do you just kind of leave it alone? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. She would just, like, reach for a door and open. All right, cool. So you reach to open the door, and you kind of, like, interact with the lock, and it jiggles a little bit, and you look at it, and you fold your arms, being like, hmm, it'd probably be really helpful if this door actually opened. And, uh, beside you... This section of the wall just collapses. <laughs> and me, and then I'll walk through. <laughs> this always happened to Newt. Newt, no, no, why? So, Snoot, Snooty, what? you're you're <laughs> investigating these burial sites, and you just see Newt try a door, look a little frustrated, and then part of the solid stone face of this construct just like as if it had fallen apart from some kind of long degradation, just <laughs> in a pile of dust. And Newt just kind of, oh, floats right through it. <laughs> what the? What? 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 That? It's happening to Newt all the time. 
<laughs> Newton had no way. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hmm. There you go, Zen. Does it, not happen? Does it not happen to you? No. It no happen this easy. Oh, no. You... <laughs> you... No, Snooty isn't affected by it. Only Desi. You okay, guys don't good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah, You two don't really magnetically attract to each other at the moment. <laughs> However, mm -hmm. Desi, uh, as you're running around in goblin dog form, it's very hard for you to o not overhear the sound of a collapsing stone wall um, and the like little cloud of dust that's coming up from the structure. So how would you want to react to this observation? Uh, but... But... Take the shears out of my mouth, and then see how dry I am for sprinting around like a fucking maniac with the zoomies. Uh, you've dried yourself off a decent bit due to <gasps> that. Uh, dizzy science log. Uh, when using fanged enchantment, uh, state of skin becomes state of equipment. Uh, uh, okay, good, good, good to know. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, that's a. Uh, you guys pushed down the wall. Uh, Wait. No, no, uh, we'll, we'll push down south. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 good, good, good. Desi, okay. did you walk uh, into the crypt? I have poked my head in, yes. Okay, but, like, this is where the hole is. Do you go oh. here? Oh, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, just, uh, you know, just, just, just poke head in. You know, just put, just poking my head in. You know? Okay, and where are you currently new in this space? Uh, uh, like right fire, here, fire, looking, fire, fire, looking, fire. looking at at what the, the items on the thing. No. <laughs> Not again. Uh, so yeah, as you poke your head in, Newt, you can feel the unmistakable feeling of your ass being magnetically attracted through the air. No, no, not again. Towards Desi. Why do you keep doing this, Desi? Uh. <laughs> Me oh. trying to, to fight it. <laughs> um. Oh, what happens in the event yeah. of a tie? I wonder. Uh, I would say that I go passes. to the attacker. Like right. I go, like maybe, maybe I go half the way and and like fight it. Yeah. So you, uh, w... I'm still like being pulled, but I'm like halfway there. <laughs> yeah. Jesse, as you lean in to wonder what the hell's going on, Newt is your you feel your rear end in the air just whoop the track towards yeah, Desi like... and you give her like a smash in the face with your with your your butt and then you just kind of pull yourself away like I'm tired of this. Uh, the uh, are these like little pillars on the end of the, the, the slab thing? Um yeah. Or just like, they would they, be, they... like decorative elements that I, you could grab on. Like Newt just grabs onto it and like is like vertical as they're being pulled, and their hair is probably like hitting like um, Desi's face as like Newt's trying to like hold like completely sideways, like she's being blown like that direction, trying to fight it. <laughs> so you're getting like a face full of hair, Desi. Yeah. <laughs> why? 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 Why are you doing this, Desi? Why? <laughs> why? No, 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 not want to have to jump in water again. No, 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 let's, let's not be too hasty. Um, listen, I'm, let's I'm gonna keep trying to hold on, so let me, let me, let me roll athletics to make sure I can keep holding on. No! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. As this is going on, Snooty, what would you like to be doing investigating this space? She is looking for those scratches that I said that's what she was looking for beforehand. Mm -hmm. Looking for scratches, seeing if things look like it's easy to open from one end than the other end, stuff like that. Gotcha. So they definitely on the exterior look like there's been scratching around the doors as well. Like something had been trying to find a way in through other means. And you could have, you, you would have recognized the signs of like someone trying to dig under the doors as well in some of these spots of the graveyard, but it looks like none of these places had any kind of interior access from the exterior at least. Uh, so it's probably safe to say that wherever these ghouls are coming from isn't directly accessible by inside of these. Uh, Newt, is there something you were <laughs> looking to say? Uh, 
I, only because I think I think this might be make you want to put on eyebrows. Uh, so one of my chat said, "Oh, like like doing the Bon Jovi song. Oh, I'm halfway there. Oh no, I'm swallowing hair." <laughs> God damn it! And I had to share it with you because I knew it would upset you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I You're welcome. That. However, interiorly, interiorly, <laughs> on the interior, you're <laughs> snooty. Newt, oh no, Newt's wearing off on you. <laughs> Please, God, no. Uh, snooty, as you look at this burial <laughs> face, um, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like there's any, like, really noteworthy signs of something in here being, like, um, uh, any, any, any signs of life in here beyond what would, might have been entombed in here. But after entering and looking around, you also notice that there is a sort of, oh, hold on, my, uh -oh. my, my internet did a brief poopy. It's okay, we're back. <laughs> Apologize for the brief poopy. Um, I thought it was, I thought you were building suspense. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, being in this space, there is a couple of dusty old relics that are with the corpse that is like on this slab. And I don't mm -hmm. necessarily know if any of you guys, actually, Desi, give me a society roll real quick as I'm explaining stuff to Snooty here. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's a couple of interesting little objects and stuff with this corpse, and then otherwise there appears to be a trap door in the ground that has uh, a lock on it and hasn't really been touched um, in a long time because there's a thick layer of dust on everything in here. So do I see footprints in the dust on the ground? No, you do not. Do I see any prints on the walls? Uh, no. In fact, I could say that your assessment of the exterior of this place along with the interior gives you enough idea that wherever these ghouls are accessing this graveyard from and whatever they've been getting up to doesn't seem to facilitate this uh, particular area of the graveyard. Hmm. But that's not to say that there might not be something of use to you in here. However, Desi, you are very much so aware that people don't like it when you fuck with the dead. And uh, somehow Newt has just defaced what is probably a very expensive burial site just by blowing a hole in the stones in some fashion. And uh, there's a very good chance that when the gravekeeper comes back and sees you guys in this space, he will be very mad. So Desi, you can relay that reaction if you'd like. Oh, oh god uh okay uh, the, the newt and snooty we have bigger problems uh, this is defacement we of gotta the get dead. to water we got to get to water no no Keep no going no towards no, water. Got to, no, got, no 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 and you're free floating. What? What, what? what? what happened? Not again! Not again! No water needed. I don't. Uh, oh, hey. Uh, maybe because I am already damp. <gasps> yeah, you got be Brian. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 uh, yeah. We need to we need to fix wall uh some or blame on something. Uh, uh, Newt floats back in and starts going through all the stuff on the grave. <laughs> no, 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 no. We no 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 see, <laughs> see, stay away. <laughs> stay away. Nazi, <laughs> 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 let me out first, then you okay, go. I, I, I touch I touch other wall. She's like creeping around very slowly to get away. Okay, uh, now why, you why go that, in. Why that takes time, did Newt find anything interesting looking through all the stuff? Just like picking up things, looking at it, shaking it, sitting it back down. Um, so looking inside, you can see that there's a couple of like old armor pieces that look like they would be part of some kind of armored um, suit that this individual probably was buried with, but um, the majority of... The actual suit appears to be gone. There's only a couple of cursory elements that were buried with them almost ceremonially. There's, there seems to be um, a very ornate looking sword that's about the size of a short sword. So to you would probably come across more as a long sword. There is a helmet uh, that looks dented and old and probably doesn't have a lot of ceremony going for it. A shield 
and a couple of extra little bits of jewelry that have tarnished over the years, but uh, look like they were buried as signs of respect, like some kind of marking of, of accolades or Are, awards. Is, is it shiny shiny jewelry? Oh, it is, yeah, even though it's dulled by, by the years. <laughs> oh, shiny, shiny. Nuke start grabbing shinies and putting it in shiny pouch. <laughs> okay, good. And then the, uh... Newt will, will put the helmet on and pick up sword and shield and start, like, running, like, acting like they're, like, a hero fighting. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, and this all goes on while they're out there doing their thing. Oh, all right. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, yeah, so you end up finding a, um, a, a plus one short sword because it has a very minor magical enchantment on it and seems to be well kept over the rest. However, the helmet and shield, I mean, they could probably function still in their intent. They don't look as great anymore, but the helmet is still a... Wait, uh, how big shield? Can can Newt lift shield? Uh, or is it too heavy? Uh, that's actually a good question. Um, I would... Oh, yeah, no, Newt can't lift shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Attempts to lift, drops, and then just has helmet on and sword and just using sword like two-handed sword and like doing like a kid would do when playing like swords <laughs> like just being like <laughs> swinging it like they're fighting like a monster or something and making like making like sounds like oh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> and that's what that's what that's what desi will come in on if desi peeks into crypt uh do you do you like come out um doing that outside, or are you yeah, just yeah, doing yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll come out of the crypt doing that. Alright, Desi, you see Newt carrying what appears to be stuff that somebody was buried with, and you're vaguely familiar that people don't like that when you do that with their dead folk. Even though in <laughs> goblin tradition, you know, what finders keepers, right? Nobody's entitled to shit when they're dead. But, Desi, you know that this is going to be kind of problematic, but also if you get close to Newt, you might get magnetically attracted again, and now she's holding a sword. Knit, 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 put it back. Ah, that's like, okay, you know how when uh, goblins die, we're just like, oh, free loot? Humans are like, ah, uh, the dead own their stuff, and they need it for the afterlife. So, why, that man, why, that why, man in there? Why, 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 why dead need stuff? Dead, dead, uh, dead. Yeah, you throw dead in swamp and let swamp water take them. Yeah, yeah, humans don't do that. They think that they're fighting things in afterlife or some stupid junk. Oh, they Newt will go back in and put helmet, put helmet on guy on the guy's head and well, like put shield on too. him, and then be like, "You will be safe now, sir." And then walk out with no, sword. No, get back, sword. But get but, back, but, sword. But, but but sword is cool. Yeah, what but sword? Is it she goes, as she's holding sword, she'll go, "What sword?" And then like put it behind her back. <laughs> All right. Well, I wouldn't say that Desi is. Okay, so you, you put the stuff back and you come floating out and you're like, what sword? Pretending you put everything back, but yeah, yeah. the sword behind your back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, Desi isn't actually as stupid as most goblins, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> but Newt is, is dumber than most goblins. So, he's very... <laughs> so yeah, Desi, you can tell very clearly that Newt has uh, has decided to hide this sword behind her back that is just slightly peeking up over the back of her head. Um, and telling you very confidently that there is no sword in Bossing Say. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 uh -huh. no sword in Bossing Say, got it. But what is that, points? Dramatically. What is what? Is what? Do you shrug while one hand's still behind back? <laughs> but only one handed shrug. Gonna narrow her eyes. We'll quickly toss sword into bush next to, and then after clearly, like Desi sees her throw throw sword in bush, and then go, "What sword?" <laughs> and shrug. Oh, oh, uh, Snoot, uh, Snooty says they need you. Um, is this a deception? <laughs> do yes. I have to do something? What um, would that be? <laughs> you can roll a perception roll. Uh, um to see if i mean oh wow oh, oh. Okay, okay quickly like run floats hey. over like excitedly floats over to snooty <laughs> believing every word that desi said <laughs> yeah, so i got the flesh 
I have very oh, slight oh. sack. Put some snoo snoo what do you need? Snoo rebuilding wall. That, 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 uh, that he said you needed snooty. No, 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 I mean you needed me. Not your oh. snooty. Desi said Snooty needed Snoop. Snooty just squints and just thinks, did she ask Desi to get <laughs> She then Desi, shrugs Desi, and goes, all right. It's over. So, Desi! Oh. <laughs> Desi, Snooty, not say you... Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not supposed to... I'm you off. No, no, no! <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. Bye. As this is happening... Desi, you made a crafting rule to try to put the fucking stone back as best you can, I assume, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah All yeah. right, well, well, that chaotic event is going on. <laughs> Snooty, continuing to play investigator. <laughs> what is your next course of action for your investigation? She's going to look to uh, the graveyard, going to walk between the stones and all that stuff like that, and look for anything that looks like... She can't read common very well, but she can be like, this is fresh, this is not fresh type thing mm -hmm. over here. And she's checking to see which one is the freshest. And see if maybe they came from there. Ah, okay, okay. Um, so, as you are starting to take a look around, can you go ahead and give me a perception roll, please, to see if there's anything that really stands out for you? Okay, do you want to keep that before I give you more details? Yes, because I know for a fact if I go and roll again, it's going to be less. <laughs> I, know, I know my luck. I know my luck. It will be a fucking 10 again. And it uh, basically was. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. It basically was. With <laughs> the modifier, it was still a 9, so... Um, yeah, as you're looking around and taking in, uh, in... Some of these graves look like they've been here a long time. Others look like they might have been freshly disturbed. Um, some plots of the land look like they've been collapsed a little, um, and recently reapplied for, um, levels, like, of dirt above it. So, you're getting the impression that some of these graves are doing, they look a little weird, because they're old, but, like, somebody has put fresh topsoil over parts of them. And, uh, it also looks like somebody has been, um... For lack of a better word that I can describe the situation, um, replacing sunken like elements of the of the grave, like it's like like parts of it fallen inwards almost. So taking a closer look and looking around a little bit more, you're at least able to be kind of cognizant of the fact that like something has been compromising the structure of these of these like. Um, graves. I don't know how this would really translate to Snooty's understandings, but I think in a way she would understand that some of these graves look like something underneath has, has gotten sunken into, almost like a little bit of a sinkhole that's been patched is kind of like the feeling that you're getting. Hmm. Snooty will think it over and be like here mm, here mm. Oh, so, mm, and she starts going down here, and she, she's like counting the rows. One, three, seventy, right here. She, um, she goes into her bag and she checks to see if she has anything that she can mark the ground with. Okay. And she found her chalk, and mm -hmm. she makes a circle around herself, and then hops out of it. Right there, right there, we, we do the thing. <laughs> and then she just waits for them to be done over there, very triumphantly, thinking that this is the spot. All right, so meanwhile, Newt and Desi, you have once more managed to attach yourselves to each other um, in a panic. As uh, Desi, you return the sword inside and begin to repair the wall, yes? Yeah, yeah. All right, so you get through a good portion of what you could do in a small moment where you start adding stones back into place in a desperate attempt to rebuild uh, masonry that <laughs> oh. it's not exactly going to be an easy task, but you manage to make a decent pile of them when Newt smacks into the back of you. Go ahead, Newt. Do, 
Do I have any spells that would I could use as a druid to mend wall? To mend I don't know if wall? we ever fig I don't know if we ever figured out what spells I actually had. Uh, no, we did. I made a boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> um, do druids have access to like something like that? I know like other spellcasters do. Um, druids have access to the primal. Um, uh, can I like make like a? Can I like cause like a tree or? Something to like grow in Mindwa? Like uh, hold the stones together? If you go into the bestiary browser, uh, which I believe should be available for you all, maybe. If not, then I'll just have to guess, give you a link to the Mephis archive because. Uh, Finder 2E. There we go. Uh, I think for now, though, I, I you could maybe give me an attempt along some lines okay. to kind of... It's not really... Uh, when it comes to spells in a traditional way of using this, it's more like you're you're expending a spell slot, but... Yeah, yeah. Um, I would have um, to do a Can I expend a spell slot that. and, like, an attempt to, like, have, like, plant grow and, like, uh, to hold bricks together as I just pile the bricks kind of roughly in place there to help... Go. Desmond spells. It drives me nuts because the archive of Nethys, where they have like all this information, does not actually sit on my oriented monitor very well, so I have to like move it around. Um, I think that you're probably able to use. Let's see. I just want to check if there's any cantrips that would apply here. Otherwise, we'll definitely have to expend a spell slot of a higher level. Um. Yeah, nothing that screams to me, fix a fucking building. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could do equivalent of, like, hiding it behind a poster. Just make a bush or something grow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would probably work a little better than... Because, I mean, you're not very high level at this point, so having the magic mm -hmm. capable of using the elements to literally reassemble a wall oh, so, from vines... So would not She'll, be like, as... pile up the bricks, like, roughly so they cover a hole, and then just make a make a plant grow real big in front the, of it. The only <laughs> downside to that is you have stuck once more to Desi before you can do that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She'll just, like, stick to Desi, but then cast spell over Desi's head. Like, the elbows are in Desi's face. Cast spell to, like, block Because <laughs> she's trying to help Desi, because she saw what Desi was doing. And she'll be like, ah, 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 I help, Desi, I help, I help! And start doing... Uh, spell. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, wait, uh, 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 head. <laughs> uh, wait, I can't see. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I do. Me, me, bush, go. <laughs> yeah, between Desi's like decent attempts at at least creating a coherent stacking, um, and the extension of the growth, you guys make about a goblin-sized wall of blockage, which is about what was made into the entryway. So I guess anybody not looking too closely might not see it at a distance, but unless there's anything else you guys want to do to kind of shore up that little hole, um, you're definitely looking at your best effort here. <laughs> did, did Bush grow in front of hole, though? Yes, you managed to extend plant life out to it in, in a way that I'm pretty sure that you're satisfied with, Newt, but I'm also pretty sure the Gravekeeper would be like, what the fuck just happened here? <laughs> but yeah, oh wait, yeah, yeah, can I, can I use Mending on Wall? Mending? Isn't, yeah, wouldn't that work? I mean, I don't really know if that's a druidic cantrip, uh... That is accessible because you're limited to the primals, and mm, okay. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, that doesn't fit under what uh, you're capable then, of using. Then, but Bush will grow in front, and and uh, Newt will look at it proudly and go, "Is he fixed?" Uh, uh, as Newt's like floating above Desi, is stuck to the top of Desi's head. Uh, <laughs> Long hair hanging down in Desi's face. <laughs> Get out of 
It's in the man. Oh my god. I just realized we could do we can do we could do Muppet Man but as goblins easily because of hair. No. No. Get, get, get up. All right, let's see what Death needs to grace with now. Uh, okay, you don't need to sleep again until the next time you are rendered unconscious. Dark. Oh. You repair a target item and restore five hit points to spell. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I am invincible. <laughs> Bedtime cannot touch me. Just like real life. Ha. Ha, 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 ha. Oh my god. Alright, well you wouldn't be initially aware of that effect, so basically right now you're just like, oh, I feel a little more energetic. Um, and as you pull yourself away from Newt, you also feel, like, the slight feeling in you that might create a bit of an attraction dissipates a bit. Oh, oh no, I have become ugly. Desi, 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 look! Point, point, points at, points at wall. Fixed. Fixed. Oh, yeah, it's fixed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Wait. You go... You go in to inspect the wall right next to Newt and realize that uh, as you get close to her, you're definitely within the range of, like, if she would pull towards you, and she doesn't. Oh. I think there is valuable lesson today about how overcoming problems together is best solution for uh, mm -hmm. magnetism. Friendship is, is, is magic. Yeah, friendship is real magic. Yeah, beats my all. <laughs> my little pine pine. My little pine pine. My, my little gobble. My little gobbles. My little gobbles. <laughs> if you're not good, we'll eat your toes. My little gobbles. My little gobbles. <laughs> Who knows where <laughs> our mischief will go? So, Snooty. You marked the place you think is the best guess that you would have to be like the where you would want to set up this trap, air quotes. And yeah. uh, you're more or less like, this seems like a good spot around the area. So what's your next course of action? Uh, Snooty's just waiting. She's just like, I'm putting that there because that's where it is. Um... That's the area she chose. She's just waiting. She's just sitting there. She pulls out her her lute and she starts tuning it. But like, like ah ah. Hold on. Let me. I'll I'll do I'll do a proper one. Hold on. <coughs> ah ah ah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just she's just tuning her stuff and just waiting for them basically oh my goodness all right well before you guys uh end up back in the uh <laughs> hmm. so yeah as you guys are, are are heading over the the mending cantrip that you have there jasmine uh the wording is that you can't replace lost pieces or repair an object that's been completely destroyed and that is Kind of in that fashion, but it's, I mean, I don't really know how mending applies to repairing structures exactly. So, um, the bulk is probably where it would come into play here. So, if you want, you could use it to kind of do your best to facilitate, like, a little bit of a repair, but it's not going to be, like, back to the way it was. But you oh, could... yeah, 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 yeah. You could probably hold but, some of the stones together a could, little bit. Could, could I? Sh she'll do it, and then look to to Desi to see if Desi seems more satisfied. Because when she showed Desi initially, she didn't feel like Desi really was like, "Yeah, that looks good." So she'll quickly cast mending and then look at Desi and wait <laughs> nervously. Uh... Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, you did really good job. It is better than I think what it was. I think uh, you did real good with the uh, things and the, uh, the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. Could, can, can I use Goblin Bullshit on the Mending spell to make it work better? What? What? Yes, no. can we trade Goblin Bullshit points to enhance no. effects? No. Yes. Can we? No, I don't want to fall down that slippery yeah, slope. Hold on, let me, let's put it to a vote. Goblins, let's uh, just, yeah. uh, just say I for... Uh, I. I. Uh, I. 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 No, no, D, say I. Hold up, Newt. Well, I mean, I do allow the wrath I... points in Warhammer to be used to increase the effects of things as well, so maybe... Maybe I will entertain that notion in the future, because it's not exactly... Well, either way, she'll go, Stop and push it, go! And then cast spell, and if it has no effect, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. I can, I can make that, I can facilitate that. So, uh, let's see what you're working with here. The goblin who called loses the use of their arms until another goblin shakes their hands. So you, you put your hands on the wall and call for goblin bullshit, extending your mending into it for one final push, and then your arms just go limp at your side. <laughs> she also, like, turning back and forth and having arms flop around and go, ah! and just start screaming. <laughs> my arms, my arms are broke. Dizzy, my arm broke. Uh, 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 wait, this happened. I can't move my arm. I can't move my arm. This has happened before. All right, let me, let me see. Give, come here. Okay. No, no, we're good. Okay. One, one second. Yeah, we got, okay. All right. Ready? Okay, okay. Ready? Okay. 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 Grab hand. Yank I arm. can't move arm. I can't move arm. Make them flap like bird. <laughs> <laughs> Just start, like flopping their arms back and forth by turning left and right. <laughs> oh no no! I'm puppeteering you. I've grabbed your hands oh. and I am now oh, making okay, you flap okay. like a bird. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. We should go. To, we should go to is bad it, magic. Yeah. Yeah. Is it is it working? I I, I don't know. Do you feel your hands work again? Newt looks to cosmic god. <laughs> well, did, did at any point in this process, Desi, did your hand like shake Newt's hand directly? Oh, I'm shaking her hands up and down. Like I've grabbed her hand in like a handshake gesture, oh, and I'm okay. making her flap her arms like a bird. Okay, so, yes, you can yeah. feel yourself returning to the functionality uh -huh. of using your arms. Uh, Newt. My uh, uh, arms fixed. They're fixed. Uh -huh. Desi, uh -huh. you got such a big Brian. Yeah, yeah, big, big, big Brian. Snooty's getting pretty big Brian, too. So there is hope for you. Do not worry, thick skull. Pat, pat, pat. <gasps> you think I could have big Brian? Yeah, 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 yeah. Newt will have this, oh. like, new confidence she's never had, because the smartest person Newt knows just said that she could have big Brian. And no uh. one's ever said anything about Newt ever being smart. Uh, <laughs> Me. It yeah. Meanwhile, <laughs> you like instantly come over and hug, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, I'll hug back. Not gonna panic that you think maybe the magnetism is back. <laughs> she forgot about it because her arms are broken. She was panicking, and and Desi saved her life. <laughs> All right. So as these continuous goblin gooperies go along, um. After about an hour and some odd passes, uh, you can... Uh, I want to know, during the time you guys wait for the return of the Gravedigger, uh, Snooty, where do you want to be spending your time? Do you want to stay within like proximity of your circle, or do you have other ideas? Uh, she's probably about right here, so she's able to be seen from everyone. Okay, meanwhile, after I'm having that encounter, down. Newton, Desi, to pass away, what is essentially the equivalent of a short rest, where would you guys like to be? kind of hanging out waiting for the return of the Gravekeeper. Uh, I'll go back over to Snooty. And Desi, what about you? Any other things that you want to try doing in the area before the Gravekeeper returns? No, no, I just need to go find Snooty. Oh, actually, sh before, after, she'll wait for Desi to go away first, and then she'll look in the bush where she threw sword, and look for sword. 
Okay, you find that the sword is missing. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! The ghost took the sword! Your arm now! She's like, quickly run over to Desi and be like, De De Desi, I have confession. Uh, what? I, I, I did have a sword. But I threw sword in bush, and now ghouls have sword. N no, okay, I have confessions. Nidhi never called you over. I just had to distract you, but I put weapon back, otherwise we'd get kicked out of graveyard. There is no ghost. Oh. Well, at least not right now. I am sorry. Okay, okay. I'm sorry I lied. It's okay. I also lied. We, we even, Stevens. I'm gonna hold out my hand to shake. Should I, like, shake hands the same way that, like, flopping like a bird? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, that, that's good. You did, you did good job. Okay. All right, now let's ask Snooty what Snooty found. Snooty, what did you find? Oh, hi. Uh, look, 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 look. And she starts dragging uh, him over uh, this way. Uh, right uh, here, right here, perfect uh, spot. If, if, uh, look at the graves. Uh, uh, that one, that one, that one. And a lot of these, they have big dent in them, and they oh. look like they were redone. So I think I think this good spot because it showed that 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 that, that, that they came from here. Oh yeah, that would make lots of sense here. Uh, good, good one second. I did she put she has a chart. Uh, she has a chalk circle already there, and everything. Oh, and she's oh that's to very it. that's very helpful. Uh, let me see here. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. All right. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out, uh, b -b -b I don't think I have it. I have no form of shovel. Hmm. Well, it's probably safe to say there might be some nearby if you want to go look for them. No, got a better idea. Oh, Fang cheers no. in mouth. Oh no. We're doing this doggy style. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm putting, putting these back on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, Desi. So, um, are you are you digging up a grave? Uh, kind of, yeah, yeah. And this has athletics plus six because it's what? Goblin no, dog. she didn't circle. She didn't circle a grave. She circled oh. outside of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I dig in spot. I dig in center of circle. Here, I, I'll, I'll fix the circle. It's... Right there. <laughs> oh, oh, got you. Okay, never mind. I dig right here. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm done. Okay. okay. No, no, I dumb. No, no. Okay. You, so. you smart. You smart. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right, give me an athletics roll to see how well you dig up this nice, uh, well, nice air quotes, uh, gravel path that connects between the rows of the graves. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gobble Duggle uh, athletics being plus six, I can dig. <laughs> All right, you're making decent progress for the time and. As you start to exhume into the earth, um, Desi, can you go ahead and give me an acrobatics roll to see if you can handle what comes next? Uh, which is acrobatics? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh, okay, I see. Uh... Acrobatics of Doggo is uh, <laughs> not as good as normal acrobatics. <laughs> 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 oh, all right. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're. <laughs> So now you don't need to sleep or blink. <laughs> Desi New Boggy confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> oh my goodness gracious. All right, unfortunately, Desi, as you start digging downwards, you can feel yourself um, pawing at the earth, kind of dr drawing out the... Uh, the um, uh the, the the depths below and as you're digging you can feel it kind of like like something maybe is shifting and before you're able to really fully react the ground below you gives way and you, you fall just far enough that i wouldn't say that it would constitute fall damage but it is an unpleasant drop as you fall into what appears to be a tunnel of some sort uh, um okay perhaps <laughs> but Cheers out, turn back into Gumbo. Ah, I landed on my, uh, well, okay, I landed on my double side. It kind of hurt. Oh, I'm going to pick up the, my shears and look around and go, uh-oh. I have fallen, and it does not seem I can get up. See, that is why. I could probably climb out one second. <sighs> Nudie goes into her bag and throws down a rope, tying one end to herself to, as to be an anchor. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, give me an athletics for climbing with uh, advantage. I don't know what Pat Weinberg's term is officially, with faded or whatever. Okay, okay. Mystically big dicked. Give me the mystically big dick rule. Ah, uh, yes, the mystically mm -hmm. big dick rule. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's, it's enough. It's a fucking rope. And it's not a very <laughs> high climb. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you climb out of the hole, and all three of you looking into it, it looks like um, in this space that has collapsed into the ground, uh, there somebody has made a tunnel under here. And it's not a big tunnel. It's probably, like, something that people would, like, crawl through, more or less. But it does look like it has a little element of support to it so that parts of it don't collapse. Um, but yeah, it looks like there's a tunnel down there. Uh, it goes Gospel Tunnel? Yeah, Gospel Tunnel. They tunnel, they're like gophers. Except gophers made out of dead people. Dun why dun dun! Oh, wait, why is gophers? Well, gophers is a small animal you... that digs. I don't, I don't really oh. know more about them. We don't have gophers in the swamp. <sighs> oh. Uh, so small thing to dig tunnel. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And I start yeah, nodding yeah, yeah. excitedly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Instructive, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the dig tunnel is important part. Okay, so there is tunnel, like, I hypotenused, uh, and then <laughs> uh, they, they are probably seeping, so, uh, I sort of Hi, want to... <laughs> you guys have I been found there. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Snooky found it. We found tunnel. There's a tunnel, a good tunnel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Naffer looks like as he's coming up, you can see that he's carrying a wheelbarrow that is has a sheet covering something in it. Um, and he looks to be like it's very obvious because of your conversation. There's a good chance that what he's carrying in this wagon or barrel cart is uh is a corpse. And he's wheeling it uh, along, and, and he's just kind of like giving a very strange look as he's coming up and hearing you all call out. And he stops and pushes the cart over to the side a little bit and leans on it. And he goes, is that a huge fucking hole in my graveyard? There's something underneath We only dug a little bit so we'd know where to go for later, and Desi fell in. And then there was a tunnel. Yeah, but I yeah. found it. It was my detective work. Mm -hmm. Snoot, I Snoot, followed the, the, found the it. clues. They found they big Brian found clues, and clues led to tunnel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Naffer just takes a big sigh, and he he goes over and and looks a little bit like down into the hole, and because it's daytime and. There's no light inside the tunnel. It's very hard for him especially to see. You guys have dark vision, but uh, he's just a basic-ass human, so he can't see shit. And he just kind of looks in and looks a little bit like... You can kind of see how deep it is from the light on the surface, and he just folds his arms and looks like a little bit in thought. And he's like... Well, this is much worse than I thought. 
right? Well, it looks like there's multiple ways that they could be getting access to the graveyard then if they've been using tunnels underneath, and that explains why some of the graves have been collapsing and I've had to top them up a little bit. I should have thought of this sooner. I thought it was just a natural part of the erosion and, you know, it's something I have to do from time to time when the world shifts so that we get a heavy rainfall, but uh, the frequency, it should have stood out to me more. And he looks at Snooty and nods and looks at Desi and, and nods at Newton and says, good work, you three. Newt will start jumping up and down and clapping. So he he puts his hands together and looks a little thoughtful, and he looks over to the corpse that's like in the cart that he's wheeled out and thinks a little bit and goes, "All right, well we've got a hole, and night's a few hours away. So why don't we think about what we're gonna do to set all this up? And in the meantime, I'll see about getting us a little bit of food from the cathedral for dinner. Ah, food." Uh, food is good. Yeah. Yeah, food. Food is good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Well, as we await the uh, conclusion of what you guys think might be the best course of action for the exact actions taken to set up this bomb test in the corpse in relation to this entryway found to the underground tunnels, I think now would be a very perfect time for us to go ahead and take our mid-session break. So... Let me go ahead and, uh, oops, that was not what I wanted to turn on. <laughs> there we go, right button. Um, <laughs> I am uh, pleased to say that uh, so far none of these goblins have died. Congratulations to all of you. And uh, when we come back from the break, uh, let's see if that streak continues. But for the time being... Thanks, everybody, who's been keeping us company thus far. In chat, if you want to check out all the links related to the people involved in this project, we'd very much so appreciate it. And you can find previous broadcasts at the archive there. So with that said and done, uh, we will take a quick little 15-minute break. And when we come back, we will see what is going to come of the trap at hand. So see you all in a bit. <laughs> 